Hey internet, this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. So I'm just gonna do a real quickie here, a uh, uh, little tip for uh, Sunday or Saturday, the weekend, I do a little short things, short sweet things. Sometimes being lazy is good for you and I see people doing a lot of spoke shaving of timbers to consume. You, you gotta get these, uh, uh, you know, the, the uh, bark off of there so they don't rot, so they laugh last but I, on some things I'm willing to let it sit because when I assemble it and put it together it will slowly look how easy that peels right so for a labor saving now these have been up for about th two weeks they're green logs they're green logs and <clears throat> if I was would have tried to spoke shave them at that time the bark would have been so bound to the surface that it it just wouldn't uh wouldn't peel and so I, I do a lot of this kind of work where possible, like, you know, inside of a house or something, I might get out a spoke shave and do it all at once. But um, the simple joy of having stuff just peel off, right? Uh, it's worth waiting for the wood to dry. And look at that. Oh yeah, that's, that's enjoyable. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, just, oh, how fun is this? Everybody along for the ride. Let's see how much of this log I can get peeled. And then <clears throat> I'll let it rain a little bit and get this. Oh, I'm assuming that's a little cedar bark beetle or something that puts that little, I don't know. It's in all of all the cedars when I pull them apart. They all have this little bit of thing. Then when the fire ants are up, the fire ants, after I peel a log, they'll climb up on that log and police up whatever doodads are are living in that. I'm gonna guess there's a bark beetle. You can see the little tiny holes. Pew, 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 pew. And that's why um, people do like to heat wood to 140 in, a, in an oven to kill any insects on it. Now, I don't disagree with that, I sure do. Ultimately, this is an outdoor platform, but I, on the inside stuff, I, I do try to treat it. I do put it in the sun and uh, inside those containers, I'll get over 140. Uh, I might build a hot box. Let's see. You know, that'd be an idea for a little 10 footer of these. Just 10 footer, put some solar stuff in it, and build yourself a little hot box with a drain in the bottom so the wood can, can drain out. <clears throat> Most people just buy, sit, let stuff sit for a couple of years, but that doesn't really solve for the, it solves for moisture maybe. That doesn't solve for insects. You might get more insects. I don't know. But um, you don't definitely don't want bark beetles in your house uh, if you can help it. Oh, look at that. No more fun. No more fun peeling. Oh, I found some. I found some. Anyway, the difference between this being completely bound up and not bound up is just time. That's the it's drying out, right? And look, I got that one almost all the way done. These will look nice once I uh, once I get them all the way done and taken care of. I left these because uh, I could run a, a rail from there to there. Or let's say you're bringing in groceries and you want to hang groceries, you can hang them from there. But I took them away from the front because uh, you go to get down with a <clears throat> you know jacket and they'll catch in the wind. So I'm slowly doing these. And these are getting there. You can see where old man can't bend down. Doesn't bend down. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's like, oh, yeah, the ground is a lot farther away than it was just a few years ago. I'm not getting any taller. Just the ground's getting farther away. Am I going to bend down to get that? Probably not. Anyway, that's my tip. Lazy man's tip for debarking logs is you know wherever they're joined i had i had either sawed that or already stripped it so it's not like i had joined it with with bark but that i like that that's kind of gratifying after it's dry it just peels so nicely and falls out of there that's satisfying let's see if i can oh yeah 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 even that one even that one is that one's got rainwater falling right down on it. Let's see. Ah, uh, nope. I'll let that one cook a little more. I'll let that one cook a little more. Right. Loosen it up a little bit, though. It helps dry it out. 
get in there. And uh, having a clean log, and I'll use linseed oil on it, or even cedar oil, depend whatever's the cheapest, and uh, recoat these. This is just going to be my scaffolding and temporary uh, porch, so you know. But if I want to keep these alive and use them, I definitely could do that. Definitely could do that. All right. I don't know how good this video will be because it's uh, the wind is beating me up in this spring day. Oh, no matter which way I go. Maybe if I hide against the house. Anyway, this is Steve of Thousand Year Homes. Like, subscribe. I'm hiding from the wind so that you can hear me. It's a stalk in me today on this spring day. It's not even spring here. It's really winter. But, you know, it feels springy. All right. Like, subscribe. Follow me along. Bye.